I'm going to be watching the gateway, the boats and the ferries going about and enjoying some lovely food. Hi everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm at the Sea Lounge in the Taj Mahal Palace in Mumbai. Now this is one of the most gorgeous places to spend an evening indulging in some lovely delicious food, tea and also enjoy magnificent views of the Mumbai harbor. A lot of the tables here face the Arabian Sea and my suggestion is pick those and enjoy the view and the amazing food here. Now this is a high tea experience which means there's going to be a lot of tea and cakes and pastries and snacks and sandwiches and dessert and chaat. Oh my god, I am drooling thinking about it. So why don't I take you and let's just do a tour of the entire spread. So the first thing that I get attracted to whenever I go and check out the display is the dessert. They have I think about 24-25 varieties of dessert and they are laid out so beautifully. You're gonna get tempted to try every single thing. Let me just say that. And not just dessert, you can enjoy delicious Mumbai chaat here as well. So think Bhel Puri, Sev Puri, Pani Puri and this gorgeous view, you have it. And they have other snacks, Indian snacks, uh, sandwich varieties, scones, puffs. Now for me, this place is unique for various reasons. Firstly, it's got this whole vintage vibe. It's inside a palace. There's like a stairway to come up and it is gorgeous. Secondly, the view. Now, there are a lot of places in Mumbai that have rooftops and you know that open air feel of being in Mumbai only when the weather is pleasant. That's the only time when that's bearable. And let's just face it, Mumbai weather is not so pleasant most of the time. But here, it's a closed environment, yet you feel like you are so close to the sea. Just watching that and enjoying your tea and snacks is an experience in itself. Thirdly, their service. You cannot beat, you cannot compare the Taj hospitality. And the Sea Lounge takes that experience to a whole new level. So this is the table that I've picked by the window. And the light is amazing, the view is amazing, the whole vibe of this place is amazing. The spread here is such that you can go and help yourself and there's also stuff that comes on the table so this is the three tier three layered charlie there's some bread here there's some fresh jam we have some sandwiches we have a quiche and we have the dessert so this is not the only dessert there's lots more like i showed you but this whole presentation i think is just so cute i'm starting with the puff it's like melt in your mouth and that feel of butter is real. Now I'm trying the quiche. Shouldn't have popped that entire thing because there's just so much cheese. I underestimated it, but it is yum. Flavor of cheese. I think peppers and corn. Here is a cheese tomato sandwich. It is the most interesting cheese tomato sandwich I've seen. As you can see it's got layers like a pastry. Whole new dining scene. You get your cutlery and stuff packed here and even the buffet bit of it is an assisted buffet. The sandwich is actually chilled and the layers of cheese and the bread are like nice and moist and you know very properly set together so it's just feeling very very different. also have live music just adds to the whole vibe of the place I totally didn't realize it but the scones are filled with raisins inside I've topped it with so much jam so that and the raisins is making it really really sweet I just tried that Russian pastry and it is wow So 
this is the view from my table. That's Gateway and it's the gorgeous Arabian Sea. They also have charts which are served on the table. So in charts they literally have everything. Pani Puri, Bhel Puri, Sev Puri, Dhai Puri. So I'm going to be starting with the Sev Puri. Finger licking good. The chart here is amazing. Breaks that uh, myth that 5 stars don't do chart well. Now for some Dhai Puri. We enjoyed many Pani Puris. This is the last one. They actually mix the Pani and give you, but if you want it separate or if you want more spicy, then you can tell them your preference. This is Bhel. Most of the menu items here are snackable items, which is why they're part of a high tea menu. I mean, they're filling, no doubt, but they're still probably considered as snacks. Now this is the next course and what I got was pav bhaji, some kebabs, paneer roll and potatoes. Pav bhaji with this view hits different. Trying the kebabs now. I've been actually waiting to try the potato. Skinned potato. I can't figure if it's fried or baked. It might be baked. But it's yum. The paneer roll is amazing. Actually, I ordered it the other day in my room. There is going to be a video of a staycation experience from this place. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel because that is one luxurious experience that I had, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys in my next video. So stay tuned for that. So this is the same roll that I had the other day. More snacks. There is white dhokla, there is patra, there is khanvi, there is kotin birbadi. They do try and stick to a lot of uh, local snacks. First thing I'm going to be having is the white dhokla. Soft, khatta dhokla as it's called. It's supposed to have that sour kind of taste. Now I'm going to be trying the khanvi. You know, this is a place for conversations. Like you can keep eating all of these snacky items and keep chatting with whoever you're with and keep enjoying the view. Kotim Birwadi. It's high tea so there's got to be masala tea. You can choose from masala tea, coffee, I think even iced tea. I still have more desserts that I need to try but I thought of taking a bit of a break for some masala chai. Really dusky outside so it's just the perfect, perfect feel. This view and chai can make you high. When I went to the dessert section, it was <laughs> impossible to decide what to pick. But here is my plate. I've just tried to fill it up with whatever looked the most tempting. Let me just say that everything looked tempting but um, I just couldn't not get that chocolate cake and the strawberry cake and the chocolate dipped strawberries. I think the chocolate cake is easily one of the best I've had. It's not completely dark chocolate but I feel like it's got that little uh, bitterish feel. It's amazing. Fresh strawberry cake, but I like the chocolate one much better. They also had chocolate dipped strawberries. I don't think anything gets better than this. Mm. Oh, good God. I think the combination of chocolate and strawberries is so underrated. It is pure love. That little tartiness from the strawberries the overpowering sweetness from the chocolate it just goes so well together finally trying this chocolate mousse of sorts 
I think after this bite, I have literally placed for nothing in my stomach. Mm. This is slowing me down. And before I'm unable to do anything else, I must tell you a few important things about this high tea experience. This is available at Taj Mahal Palace in Mumbai in the Sea Lounge. It starts at about 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon and it goes on till I think 6.30. And the prices are Rs. 2,500 per person including tax. And it is all you can eat. So there's unlimited chaat, unlimited dessert, unlimited snacks unlimited chai it's a place where you can come celebrate your special occasions basically when you feel like a little something extra needs to be done for that day so that was my experience at the sea lounge i absolutely enjoyed my evening here and i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for my next video which is going to be about my luxurious stay at the taj in mumbai and with that i'm going to be saying bye don't forget to give this video a big like subscribe to my channel and uh, that is really it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.